if we are anything in Europe, it's the, is a defender of our common values and our, and our belief in democracy, the rule of law, a universality of human rights, and we should constantly strive to defend them. This is an event as part of a commemoration of the 17th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted in 1948. And that's the declaration that sets out really the kind of framework for human rights that we've seen in the late 20th century and, and into this century. During this declaration, we guaranteed to every person, to all people, to every nation, uh, equal uh, human rights. And uh, that human rights uh, cannot change uh, depending on uh, some political historical or uh, cultural moment. Uh, so it's really important for uh, every MEP uh, to be informed about this declaration. We know that the right to freedom of religion or belief is violated in many parts of the world, so it's important to make a, a remark here in the European Parliament to say that the, the protection and promotion of the right to freedom of religion or belief matters. It matters for the European Union and I should say it matters for the world today. There's a lot that we do right by you know, elevating human rights as much as possible to the forefront of conversations. On the other hand, there's a real danger that what we're really doing is giving lip service to human rights. I mean, you know, we hear a lot of talk of outrage, for example, about the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. But, you know, is it really going to affect our decisions on trade? Uh, and shouldn't it? So, you know, in that sense, we're not in a good place. I think there are some fundamental universal rights. The right, you know, to not to be imprisoned, arbitrarily arrested, tortured. Uh, the right to, as we were talking earlier, to educate your children in a way according to your beliefs. And I've seen, again, a certain relativism about the sanctity of human li life and how you die with dignity. These issues are constantly being debated, uh, but the idea of absolute, sacred, inalienable rights uh, seems to be questioned increasingly. Uh, and so, you know, people who have conviction, who have beliefs, uh, we should defend their rights to uphold those beliefs. Human rights law either means something or it doesn't. So politics changes all the time, different parties are elected or not. The idea of human rights law was to try and say whoever is in power, there are certain fundamental things that they cannot depart from, certain things that they cannot do. And unless you allow that fundamental law to mean something and for that meaning to be consistent across time, then you start to have an erosion of the legitimacy of human rights. We've got to keep talking, we've got to tr keep trying to educate each other, we've got to work on our political leaders, we've got to build up uh, a sense among our electorate uh, that these values matter to the point of sacrifice because unless we are willing to make sacrifices for important values we won't ultimately manage to hold on to those important values. I think that Europe should have a stronger voice uh, uh, on freedom of religion and belief as compared to what has been done so far. We know that there is a, an important debate in the European Parliament to strengthen the mandate uh, on the special representative for the promotion and protection of people of religion and belief, which has been Mr. Figel so far. I hope that the European Parliament can pass uh, the new draft recommendation and ameliorate the situation and the resources and the commitment to the promotion of freedom of religion and belief. So our I'mHumanRight.org campaign on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is really about uh, urging all nations to protect fundamental rights, especially religious freedom, life and the family, as intended by the Universal Declaration that was adopted 70 years ago go and this event here at the European Parliament is part of that campaign and we invite all European citizens to support this campaign on the I'mHumanRight.org.